the oil that we use requires us to borrow for our foreign purchases about a billion dollars a day. The country to borrow about a billion dollars a day. To import oil, we borrow for the last several years something between 350 and 400 billion dollars a year. Far and away the largest share of our, our bounce payments problems and all the rest. Uh, that amounts to, by the way, about a thousand dollar tax functionally on each American every year, year after year. And that's not a tax that you're paying to Richmond to build roads in Virginia or to Washington to pay the Marine Corps. That goes to the governments of Saudi Arabia and Venezuela and so on. Uh, so just for starters, what we pay to import oil is a stunning thing with respect to our economy and our independence. Now, can we get out of this by drill, baby, drill, by drilling more ourselves? The answer is not really. What we can do is improve our balance of payments. That's not negligible. If we drill a lot of oil wells in the United States, we'll be able to replace a few percent of our oil that's imported with domestic oil, maybe. And our balance of payments, instead of our borrowing a billion dollars a day, maybe we'll only borrow $900 million a day. But it doesn't change anything fundamental. Why? Well, to go along with oil's monopoly of transportation, we have OPEC's cartel, otherwise known as the Conspiracy and Restraint of Trade, that controls that monopoly. So if we drill more and our share of the world's oil increases uh, and uh, OPEC doesn't like that, they will just adjust their output one way or the other, doing exactly what John D. Rockefeller used to do at the beginning of the 20th century. They'll adjust their output depending on whether they want the price to go up or the price to go down. Sometimes they want it to, to go down in order to undercut competitors. Sometimes they want it to go up to milk more from our pockets. But they do pretty much what they want because they lift oil, in the Persian Gulf anyway, for a very few dollars a barrel, four or five dollars a barrel. The rest of OPEC lifts it for under ten dollars a barrel. We lift it for several tens of dollars a barrel. Yes, it's great to read headlines about how we have several Saudi Arabia's worth of tar sands and so forth under Colorado or, or North Dakota or whatever, but the production costs of that and OPEC's huge control of reserves means that they are in the driver's seat. 